Today we're going to be breeding Angora rabbits. So today's going to be sort of crazy. We have two Angora does we're going to breed. They are both English Angoras. Um, we have Charity over here, who's going to be bred for the first time. And then over here, we have, um, let's see, there we go. We have Lovey, and this will be her, I believe, second or third time breeding. And this is our Buck Solace. So we're sort of going to be tackling two projects at once here. We're going to be building the Angora Mansion colony thing. We're going to be starting that project by taking all the cages around here and all this stuff back here and we're going to move it all to that side of the bar. So my plan eventually is to have Lovey, Solace, and Charity all in this big cage it has four holes and it's all connected in this big long cage and then I'm going to put Lucky in this cage and then so I only have to move two cages over there instead of a lot more but Solace is already in here so we sort of need to move Solace out of here to clean it and then put L Lucky in here and then we can put Solace and whoever, whatever girl he's with, and the girl he's not with, all in that together. But in order, but then we're gonna have to clean that and move him over there before we do that. So it's sort of really complicated and hard. Um, so maybe I'll just show you what I'm doing. So it's sort of really gonna be crazy, but it sort of have a plan of how it's gonna work. But because we don't have like an extra cage f to like hold them in while they're waiting, it's sort of just gonna be sort of crazy. So let's do this. You're not really supposed to put a boy in a girl's cage because usually girls are very mean and territorial and all that and that sort of you don't want the buck to get hurt. Lovey is a super sweet rabbit. She is sort of can't move around very well. She's so I think we'll be fine um, and also we need Solace's cage to be empty so we can put Lucky in it so we can move him over there. It's sort of complicated so so, sort of out of necessity, we're going to put Solace in Lovey's cage. Not Lovey and Solace as a breeding pair to each other, and I don't think she'll fight him that much. So, one of the dangers of putting the boy in the girl's cage is that she'll attack him, but that. Another reason why many people like to put their gr the girl rabbits in the boys' cages is because some, oftentimes the boy is so interested in the new cage that he doesn't really do what he's supposed to do. And some people like to just, you know, watch and like, see the breeding for like 15 minutes and then go inside and separate them again, especially if you have like a violent doe or something. Um, I'll explain about this weird bald patch on Charity's back. I started plucking Charity, but well, plucking is paused, and I have a little patch done, but everything else is still beautiful and fluffy, so that is what that bald spot is. It's not bald, it's just very short, so that's why that's there. So, so far it's just been a chase. They chase each other one way, and the other way, and the other way, and the other way. So now that Solace's cage is empty, I'm going to clean it out, disinfect it, make it good as new and then I'm going to put Lucky in his cage. So I moved Lucky's cage to over here. I sprayed each and every cinder block with with neem oil, a throw coat of it, and now I'm going to spray the entire cage with a good coat of neem oil and then another coat of vinegar to kill any mites or other little bugs and then to kill any germs or bacteria that may harm Lucky. I don't. I do this just every time I switch cages or stuff, just you know to keep everything sanitary. I mean, Solace wasn't sick, but you know, new rabbit, new stuff. I mean, Solace could be immune to things that Lucky's sensitive to, and vice versa, and just so, and just precaution and to keep things sanitary. Now that Lucky's cage is thoroughly demited and disinfected. I'm going to move all of his stuff in there and then move him in. You guys, they're cuddling. It's so cute. Look at them. Look 
Smokey's old cage, which is now the English Angora rabbit cage, to the goat side of the barn. Moved the cage and sprayed it with a generous coating of neem oil and vinegar, like I did Lucky's new cage. And now I just have to put, you know, hay and food and water in it, and then I get to move the Angoras in. Now I've added food, water, and hay to the big cage. So both Solace and Lovey have spent the night in Lovey's hutch, so we are going to move them into the big cage and Charity too, so there will be two girls and one boy in the same cage. I know this isn't the best situation to have all the rabbits in a small cage, but we're hoping to get the Angora Mansion done by Christmas, and so they'll only be in there a few weeks. I'm going to put the Angoras in the big cage in this order. Solace is going to go in there first, then I'm going to groom Charity, and Lovey has too short hair that she doesn't need to be groomed. Then I'm going to try to put both girls in at the same time, or as close to the same time as possible, and put them in the same space. That hopefully Solace greet sees them before they can start fighting, and he'll sort of keep them occupied for the first little while. And then everyone will be calmed down and tired. And so hopefully there won't be any fighting. I'm sort of, you know, does fight other does if they're in each other's territory. So it helps that this is going to be neutral territory. But I'm sort of, I don't know what's going to happen. So I'm going to be there to watch. And I'm going to be prepared to take anyone out if they're fighting or anything like that. But let's hope that everything goes well. Wallace is in now. He's probably going to be exploring. Um, and then my guess is that as soon as I put the girls in, he'll suddenly become interested in them. So I'll just let him explore first a little bit so that he sort of knows his surroundings so he's not as interested in them whenever the girls come in. Lovey. She's so tired out. Solace has been chasing her all yesterday afternoon and tonight and all this morning. Hopefully she'll get more of a break when he's busy chasing Charity and her. So they'll each get chased half as much as she has been getting chased now. So, so far, the girls have not fought each other, but they don't seem to be fighting. I think Solace is doing a very good job.